Okay, so you kind of know where we're at. What part of the neck of the woods we're at. There's the needle. Got a little drape here doing some sun shading because I'm directly into the sunlight. Anyways, uh, supers on the right there and uh, weavers on the left. I'll go ahead and zoom in there a little bit if I can. Uh, I'm uh, The lake's right on the other side of this little hill here. So I'm going to get my drone up there. A little windy out here, but uh, we'll be okay. Supposed to be good up to 19 miles an hour, so. But anyways, uh, that really didn't do much right there. I removed the screen, but it really didn't uh, do anything. So, whatever. So let's get zoomed in on weavers here. If I can get this turned and get it to come up, yeah. So this would be from almost totally the opposite side of where I normally am out there at Hewitt Canyon. Uh, pretty much, not really. I think uh, I'm more probably, I'm going to say right there. Right there, in that area right there. Just all this right here, you see in these two air in between my fingers here all that that's where i do all that quadding on hewitt canyon and in here then you get to see sanding here you get to see weaver's needle and then you see of course the supers in the background but different angle totally different angle but that's not why i'm out here today so i'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this okay so let's shut her down boop All right, here we are out here today at Butcher Jones Crossing. I've been out here once before, brought the quad out last time. I didn't bring the quad this time, uh, just the drones. Just felt like getting out and taking it slow. Enjoy the day. It's uh, Sunday, the beginning of a three-day, and uh, I'm getting ready to fly my drone here. So we'll get it uh, synced together here, if it's not already. and get it into the air and see if we can see the lake. The lake should be right over here. Don't know how much I'm gonna get on here, but I'll keep trying. It's kind of hard to do the controller and this at the same time, but you know, you know how it is. Or maybe you don't. Do, 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 do. I can't see diddly. So I hope the drone's gonna be in there somewhere. Okay, we do have connection. 16.6 volts, so that battery is like up, primed, and ready to go. We are recording? Yes, we are. Drone fired up. And is in the air. Landing gear up. Are we catching all this? I guess we're catching a little bit of it, aren't we? Because mm, I can hardly see because of the reflection. All right, so let me turn this way. Get our gimbal to be straight on. Now I can see me. There I am. Hello, we'll sync this stuff. I guess we could probably do that right now. Why not? Let me uh, lower this a little bit and bring it closer to me. Because I have no video on the, I mean, I don't have it turned on. I could, or audio on the drone, but the, you know, the buzzing from the blades had drowned it out. So I'm going to be relying on this for the noise here and the signage. So let me come down some here, out to here, and then three, two, one, that's take one, so this will be the very beginning of the video. So let's get this guy uh, back up in the air and I don't know how much of this camera is really going to be any good for us. I 
because once you get it up in the air, you're pretty much, uh, you know. There's a plane up there, but I'm pretty sure uh, I'm not going to uh, be anywhere near him. He's a little, little high there. A little high there. Okay, so I'm going to kill this camera. Save the battery and try to get over by the lake and see what we can see. I can see the lake right now. So, uh, don't know how far I'm going to be able to get. Probably not too. Where's it going? I've already lost it. There it is. Okay. All right, let me kill this camera here. So now we're uh, recording on both. We should have audio on both. I uh, didn't really want it for this, but that's okay. I just want to see what it's going to sound like. Uh, we're at 16.5 and 15 satellites. I don't want to spend a lot of time gibby gabbing here. So let's get these in the air after we sink in three, two, one. And I don't even know why I'm sinking anyways, because I'm not really doing anything. But whatever.
It's so hard to see in this viewfinder. I can't even tell if I even have it in frame. Gosh, my eyes are bad. That's pretty bad. Well, stop playing around. Duh. Go do what you're gonna do, whatever that is. If I can see me. Well, let's run it up. And, uh, see if I can catch some of the lake. Yeah, somewhat. Exactly where horseshoes at. Where we're at, approximately. Oh, I should put the strap on, too. It's a nice video. I didn't even see where it went. Oh, there it is. It's still climbing. Oh, there's some more of the lake right there. Okay. You start to see Coons Blob and all that stuff. Going it up about 10 miles an hour, which is faster than what the, uh, wow, really sucks a lot of juice too. I'm already at 14.9. Alright, so there's the other part of the lake. Just going to slow it down about right there. Just right now, say it's up to bad. I guess the video you know, it's better. Looks clear. At 15.0 on the battery for the drone. 79 on the ST16. So uh, I should probably think about bringing it home at some time. Go ahead and swing over to where we can see the four peaks too. It is a shame that uh, I can't zoom in on this. I wonder if... Wow, it really doesn't consume hardly any energy for those. And it's just... Um, let me see. I wonder if I have it in Gorgeous. Or if I just have it in... Uh, going so I'm sure it's buzzing the heck out of in the background. I don't have to lower that on the computer. Uh, it'll be coming from the sky up yonder. So let me uh, widen this zoom out. I really don't know if we'll be able to see it. We are at the 14.9 still on the battery. So, oh, okay, I like that. Zoom down real slow, see if I can uh, see me. 
amongst the rubble. Okay, I kind of get an idea of where it's at. right there in that little tripod I believe I believe it is so if I look up it should be kind of to my right and towards the lake hey I don't see it oh so just the opposite to, to the left and far and from the lake so I was I was off <laughs> not bad though Bad at all. So where did I go? There I am. And I've got I've still got 14.7 on the battery, so I still got plenty of juice. Uh, is my landing gear still up? It looks to be. Wow, that makes you dizzy looking up like that. Okay, so turn the camera. Oops, the other way. And then hit it on the front and we'll go right up. We got some people on some quads. I don't know how much of that it caught in the air, probably none. <laughs> That's alright. Geez, I wish I could see. That my, my eyesight just bad. Get to the point where uh, I don't even think glasses would do any good. But anyway, so let's bring her home. Pour a little bit, drop that gear. Ten minutes and uh, fourteen eight is where it's nine. Now it's at fourteen nine. It'll probably go to fifteen before it does anything. There we are here. There it is. There. So, all right. And the audio is still on. I take it. Let's see. Yeah. 
I wonder why we can't keep the audio on. I wonder why we can't do a default with the audio, you know? Like, make sure it's always on, all the time. Uh, you know? So, uh, let me, uh, come off the drone. Let's see. Awful short fuse. <laughs> Okay, was not expecting that. Little, uh, little spinner here. Eh, kind of cute, I guess, whatever, you know. I guess whatever floats your bubble, you know, the people that invent this stuff must really, really, really be bored. Yes, I pick up my trash, see? They must really be bored to death because, uh, it's, yeah, whatever. All right, so that uh, that little spinner right there probably is another nighttime video type thing because it's got, you know, lights and stuff. The other smoke. Uh, I've got one more item I'm going to do here. I'm going to try one. This is a four-piece set, Getting Noisy. Oh, so if we were going to finally have a popper or something or... <laughs> I mean, I'm just getting tired of it, you know. It just, uh, whatever. And then there's that big bucket thing. I don't even know where I put that. I don't think I brought it. There was a big bucket thing. Hmm. Evidently, I didn't bring it. Also, it would have been right here. I probably left it at home. Okay, so this is some foil thing. Getting noisy. All right, so let's see what that does. And then we're going to get back to uh, flying the drone. Trying to let the ST16 get a little more charged up and then go from there. Okay, so getting noisy. I better put this out here a little further. Because I have no idea what it's going to do. But we're going to find out. You ready? I'm going to run like a chicken. Because that's what I do. Well, they're getting a little better, a little better as we go. Okay. Uh, you know, I kind of got my adrenaline pumped a little bit. All right. Charcoal stuff out. Still got a little bit of debris. Whatever. Oh, my God. This is just too, there's too much excitement for me. I've got to, I've got to go home and take some Geritol or whatever us old people do to uh, calm my nerves. I mean, I'm just... I'm really just out of control here right now. It's too much for one day. I can't take it all in, you know. It gets bad. It gets pretty bad. You'll, you'll find out if you if you make it to, to the ripe old age that I'm at right now, which really isn't that far, but, you know, it's uh, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so uh, let me find a bag to put that trash in, and uh, then we'll get about our business. But as of now... I'm going to shut this down. All right, so how much battery do I have left? I'm trying to see here. Oh, we got plenty of battery. Okay, good enough. Uh, I'm going to put it on the uh, the old sheriff's hat that uh, Teresa gave me. Um, so I can have that and not have to carry that around because I'm going to have the uh, wizard wand. Get this positioned right. Or it's kind of kind of be straight out or whatever to a degree. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna apply it with the wizard one. I, I wish this hat was just a little bit tighter. It's just a little loose and uh, it's not snug enough for my head. I'm gonna have to put me some stitches in it or something when I get home, especially when you put the camera on, it starts to droop quite a bit. So let me get this little thing opened here, see if I can get some of these things back in there. Well, I tell you what, I'll never buy fireworks again, unless I know exactly what they do, and I'm not really excited by the stuff anymore anyway, so it really doesn't matter. 
Uh, we haven't synced yet anything. This will be like take three, I believe. Um, the other two are on the Sony uh, camcorder or whatever you want to call it. All right, so garbage is picked up. We're going to put this somewhere where we can dispose of it later. I'm just going to kind of go walk around a little bit. I like to let the drone follow me around just for giggles. Um, probably look funny because I'll have the camera on my head, but you know what? I always look funny, so it really doesn't make any difference now, does it? Oh, okay, so I am going to have to sync it up with the wizard wand. I think you have to do that every time. I, I honestly do. I think you have to do that every time. So... I'm actually going to take that off my head. Yeah, I don't need it uh, like that. I probably could have used the other one. Alright. Uh, beep papa doo I don't even know what's out there. Something. I wouldn't think the snakes would be by now. Now, we're not going to have any audio on this because I don't think you can turn the audio on with this but uh let's turn the drone on i think you do i think you do have to connect it so wait for that little beep right there camera locked in go like this twice until you get an orange light in the back Flashing. We have the orange light flashing. Don't know if the camera picked it up. I'm not even sure if I've got the angle right. So then you uh, take the wizard wand. This is the power on button for the wizard wand, not the drone. This is the power on button for the drone, the red one. So you uh, put it in a parallel position like this. Hit the button, hold it till the light comes on. You feel a vibration, go like that two or three times, let go. And you're set. That thing's set and ready to go. We're looking at the colors here. This is the video camera in the center, so we're gonna wait for that thing to light up. We're already showing that we have GPS hookup. Don't know why the camera's not coming on yet. Don't think you have to have it fired up. There we are. Okay, so we hit the center button and the right, and that should turn the camera on. Now we have a flashing, so the camera is on. And then this powers it up. And you raise it vertically like this. Push the top button. We get it into the air. All right, and then these two buttons here simultaneously lift the landing gear up. So straight up and down like this is for your altitude. And then if you go straight out like this and push, And it's supposed to okay so what i've got it at angle mode right now that's the center here angle i want to put it on smart mode that would be the top now watch what the drone does it's the camera completely turned around now i am on the video right now okay so i need to bring this back here though so i'm going to go ahead and take it back out of a uh, smart mode and put it into angle because i need to sync these cameras so let me uh, turn it around by straight up and down and this way to make it go forward. All right, let me bring it down. And I wanna get the camera on me, make sure it's on me. All right, and then we're gonna go three, all right, three, two, one. Did you get that? I hope so. 
I ain't doing it again. But let's get it up in the air. And, uh, and now put it in smart mode. All right, now it's on me. Should be. Um, just wasting battery sitting here gibby gabbing, you know. So let me get it out a little bit. Inch of the right. So it's in front of me, so I don't have to be looking around for it. I don't even know if it's in the viewfinder or the camera. Don't really matter now, does it? I'm just kind of guessing, doing the old Hel Helen Keller thing. I'm mostly uh, interested in the uh, video that's on the drone, not so much me. I don't really go out and do much walking around anymore anyways. We do have everything all synced up and ready to go. I did tell you that the uh, fireworks were actually pretty crappy. Now, would I dare do this right here? Would I dare do that? Huh? Let's get that back out there. All right, bring it over a little bit. And bring it down. Now the camera should be staying locked on me. But do I dare, would I dare do this in my quad? That one right there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, that'd be a little, that'd be a little scary. Uh, let's take it down some, see what the slant's like a little bit more. Now the camera should be staying on me even though it's in smart mode. It doesn't matter. Okay, this way, oh, this way, takes it away. This way I'll take it to the right. This way I'll take it down. Okay, so yeah, I don't know how far up it's gonna go. Can you see me? I don't know if I'm still in the viewfinder or not. I don't know if the uh, gimbal goes up that high, but I'm trying to get an angle here of the slope. It's got big rocks in the way too. It would definitely be a uh, slow maneuver if I was going to do it at all. So, whatever. All right, come to daddy. No, I'll come to daddy. That's right, we're in smart, smart mode. So the buttons are a little bit different this time. Just a little bit. Anyway, so I'm not gonna walk down there. So I really don't know where I'm gonna walk. Let's try, uh, let's try to remove this. It's gonna be a lot easier for me knowing that I got it on camera like this. So let me bring it this way. I don't want it I don't want it in the sun because that's just kind of messed up, you know, and you get blinded by the light. Yeah. But I'm out here at Butcher Crossing. I think I told you guys that Butcher Jones Crossing, matter of fact. And uh, you notice that the, uh, the drone itself is wiggling quite a bit. You know, it's back and forth. Like this. When I do the wand, look at this. Now, see that? See? Now you watch the video. See, now you see what I'm doing? Watch. Now I want you to see the video when we uh, get home. And see if that how how true that gimbal keeps that camera nice and smooth. It's actually pretty amazing, but we're gonna find out for sure. That was that was pretty radical right there, uh, the movement of the drone. Now what we have here is two flashing lights on the far right. The center one flashing is the uh, video. I've told you that before, so it's running. But the two flashing lights means that I've got probably about, when that first started doing that, five minutes. Now it'll go to a single flash shortly, and pretty soon I'll feel a vibration actually in uh, my hand, in, in you know, the uh, wand itself. 
and that'll tell me that hey uh it's time to bring it home now what i want to do before i do anything else is get it over here get it over here and i want to get it down and closer to me okay and down now what i want to do is i want to get the supers back there with me okay there you go yeah a little bit more okay that's cool right there yeah all right and i want the picture of the supers in the background with me so i can maybe do another face bake page cover or something whatever okay so we got people coming but uh, it's on follow me mode so let's go up where am i at on the battery still double flash so it's not really that bad and uh bring it over here Bring it over here, this way we get the cars in the background as I'm walking. Okay? Oh, I can't remember to keep the GoPro on there. But now we've got, uh, the cars are getting out of the viewfinder, so I'm going to bring it over here more and see if, uh, That'll help get them in there a little bit better. Now my light on here is uh, still double flasher. So that means that, that we still got plenty of power, which is cool. All right, well, what else do you do, you know? Go to a different place, I guess. I kind of wanted to get closer to the river. I mean, the lake, already been to the river. But, uh, see how close this thing will get to me. It's probably about it right there. Yeah, that's about it. To the right. Yeah. And then, uh, get the front of it. The front of the drone is now facing me. Like that. Okay, where are we at on the, on the power here? I got one single flash. So let's see how long that stays single flash and I don't know when it started doing that uh, before I feel a vibration in this wand and have to bring it home for sure but in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and bring the landing gear home by double pressing the buttons uh, maybe walk it over here a little bit to get it on flatter ground than that back there Okay, all right, so I got it still hasn't vibrated yet. I'm taking it out of smart mode and putting it on angle mode. Now I have full control over it. So the purple indicates that it's on angle mode. We're still getting one flash. I haven't got a vibration yet. But now when I have it up like this, it'll yaw right or left it'll spin so now I have control of the camera in fact I can turn the camera and the camera will go off of me now see it's not on me and then I turn it back like this and now it's on me so it's not on the smart mode the smart mode actually just lets you you know follow follows you around wherever you go now because it's not on smart mode I'm just waiting patiently for the vibration to start no, I'm not doing any flying actually, so it's not really draining the battery that quick. Uh, if I was doing some aggressive flying, I'm sure it would. But uh, here we are. Let it go, huh? I def, super wide view. I wonder what would happen if I put it around 120 frames a second and tried to slow this down. Look, 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 look. I don't really like the slow mo though on my. Uh, software. I don't really care for it too much. Now this is supposed to raise it, the gimbal, and it is. Okay, raise the gimbal. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay, we're still at, uh, we're still at one. 
We're gonna stay pretty true, don't it? A little, got a little movement here, not much. The wind might be three miles an hour, if that. Let me run it up. See if that'll get it to vibrate. Oh yeah, now we're getting, we're getting flashing lights. We were getting flashing lights on the drone as soon as I accelerated to go up. That was an indication that uh, that battery juice is going. Now why? Watch the white lights. Maybe they all do it. Let's see. Up. Yeah. Okay, now the uh, wizard wand flashed. So I'm going to bring it home. Take it forward a little bit. Take it down. Come on. And down and hit the power button. I couldn't keep the camera on at the same time, sorry, because I was uh, trying to push the power button. I did that one time, and boy, I messed up really bad. The thing flipped over. I don't know what it did. It ended up breaking something. I don't know. It should be in smart mode. out here where I can see it on the camera too if it's picking it up at all maybe it needs to be out a little further I don't know didn't want it too far but still got a full green light so we're good on the charge except I will have to pull over when I have to pull over I'm lowering. Oh, this is the big hill here. Let me get it over to the left here a little bit more. Yeah, I gotta go slow here. Real slow. Like super slow. Like slow slow. Like I don't like having one hand on the wheel slow. I'll let that stay right there like that. Seems to be okay. This is really a good vehicle anyway, so it's pretty much going to uh, respond. 
haven't had it four wheeling too much at all. Okay, let's come over a little bit. I still have a solid light. sight of the drone if I do I got means I got to take it up higher so I can keep it in the air because I don't want it coming into contact with any uh, tree or hill or tall cactus or something I didn't see I think I'm just gonna leave it right where it's at and let it hover I still have a solid green light loving this Loving this. So up to 25 minutes, they're talking about, yeah, you sit there for 25 minutes and just hover. You didn't do anything. You sat there for 25 minutes and hovered. Well, I would say your battery would probably last a while. Bring it down just a tad. I actually got 10 miles an hour. Uh, on my uh, acceleration for altitude. Um, I thought it was only five miles an hour, but uh, it, it, you know, that's what the book said. I thought I could be wrong. I'm getting to that place now where I'm being wrong a lot. Okay, I've just now got my first double blinking light. So uh, we're still good here. I'm just wondering if the. Uh, GoPro is picking any of this stuff up or if it's out of uh, range or whatever let me get it over some come over to the left a little bit there buddy thank you and, uh, when it goes to single blink then I'm going to jump out and find a place to land and then maybe we can continue from there. I don't know. Like I said, I want to keep it in sight. So I don't want any trees getting in the, my path of sight. Lincoln. When I gotta stop, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> if there's somebody behind me, tough, 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 tough. than it is but actually it's not bad probably because it gets traveled a lot so that's probably why we're good there now let me bring this guy over to here because I kind of want to keep it in the path of the road so when I do bring it home it'll be right here whoa, whoa. and uh, I've still got a double blink
All right, so once again, I'm getting ready to get fired up here. I'm on the Sony right now, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I, I'm at a new location. I have arrived out here where I've been before, remember? Of course y'all remember. Well, probably nobody remembers, you know why? Because nobody watches the videos. That's right, I forgot about that. Nobody ever watches the videos. Well, I'm gonna try to get way up here, but I'll be back in a second on that. Let me get this puppy like there, okay? And let me get zoomed in up here where I think I want to try to get up to if I can. Uh, there might be some bighorn up here, I don't know. But there's something right here. There's something, there gotta be some critters somewhere up in here. I mean, I've had this thing up so high to see all the tops of these mountains right here, but this is usually along these cliffs here is where all the bighorn sheep hang out. And uh, so I'm just gonna try to follow that path, see if I see anything and get it on video. Cause that's, that's kind of like what I like to do when I come out here and do this. And see if I can actually get some livestock, you know, some kind of animals. Got some horses the other day, didn't even realize I, I'd gotten them. But uh, the uh, Salt River is just right here at the base down here. All that path down there. Uh, the uh, river is really slow right now, as you'll see in a little bit on the other video, but uh, it's not running too good at all. So let's get the drone in the air and uh, see what's cooking. We'll insert this like, you know, at the beginning of, uh, you know, the move to the big parking lot. 